Yeah. Like all right, waffles. this thing started. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not going to waffle. I'm not going to waffle. You're not going to waffle. You waffle a lot, then. I know. You're doing it. I barely, but I, 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 like, I made myself, Wait, like, aware, so I'm just going to... Oh, sure. I'm going to let this... No, but we like the waffle. Sometimes waffle's good. Yeah, it's good. No, yeah. But Unless you... Whoa, no, but I just... Yes, people, welcome back to On The Cards Podcast. I'm here with some of my new, not even new friends, but I say new. Some of my good, good friends. I haven't seen for a minute. That's why mm. I maybe said new. I've got Lily here. Lily's in the building. Hey. Umrah and Malaika. What are, you guys, what are you guys telling me? Yeah, good? we're good. We're good. Same old. It's, it's been a minute. I don't yeah. remember. When was the last time I saw you lot? Long time. I, I think Demi's was the last time I seen you. A year Demi's? Ago. I wasn't even there. Bro, I ain't seen Demi for a good year or something. No, I haven't seen her in a year either. Oh, when we were playing them games and that. Yeah, we went for a couple of days. Yeah. Like, back yeah, and forth. That's yeah. when I seen you last, I think. I can't believe you lot did games night without me, man. You was in another country. I was in another country. This girl said. Doing what? I don't remember. Tunisia. Yeah, Tunisia. Okay. Yeah. How was that? Good? Yeah, I was banging. It was yeah. really nice. That was with family, though, so it's different. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, okay. Still good, though. Yeah. yeah. We had a good week that week. That was we such did, a good week. But we did kind of rinse it, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, after yeah. the game, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm not even want to play no <laughs> more, blood. <laughs> Do you remember? Because we done two days at Demi's, then we done one at yours. Um, when I was even there. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> I did ask you, though. I no, did ask course, you. Course. Um, what you call it? Then we done one at hers. Then we went to Paid go get that. something. We went to um, Costco. Costco, and we got pizza oh, for everyone. Costco? Yeah. Do you remember we got that mad big pizza? Who's Costco? I don't remember. You? Yes, you could, when you My ate auntie. all them crisps and pizza. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you you definitely. Okay, now I remember. Now yeah. I remember. Oh, there's a bunch of topics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to start with you, Lily. Start with oh, me and then go around. Grab it. She can't see it. Yeah, you grab it. You grab it. You grab it. Okay, I'm glad we started on that. I'm glad oh, really? we started on that. I'm glad. What's this? Ooh, okay, wait, what we got? Plastic surgery. Do you agree with it? Would you get it? Is it really worth the money? Okay, so who wants to start on that one? Because That's a big one. Do you want to start? Okay, I don't mind. Um, I don't know, you know, this is like a proper techie like, subject. So I feel like... Let me bring the, the thing forward. Um, I wouldn't say I don't agree with it. Like, I don't see why... It matters. Like I feel like anyone should be able to do what they want to do. Mm. Like, bro, mm. it's your body. Do you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, yeah. if this girl wants to, I don't know, get lip fillers or get her bum done or anything, how does it affect you, like personally? Yeah, so I'm yeah, kind of yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it don't matter at all. But then it's like, would I do it? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, it's it's a techie one. Like, because you have some days where you think, oh yeah, I'll definitely do it. Then you have other days where you're mm. like, oh, and actually, I don't know if I agree with it or not. Because it's a permanent change depending on what you're gonna do. Mm. So it's like. Would I do stuff that maybe is temporary? Probably, because I don't see the harm. Like, you try something, if it doesn't work for you, don't like it on your face, like cool, it's gone. Yeah, yeah, like, that'll yeah, be good. Yeah. That'll literally go in, what, six months? So it doesn't matter. Mm. But, like, the permanent stuff is a bit more techie because it's like. Especially if it looks dead, then you're just stuck. <laughs> in this pissed. is it. This That's is sad. it. Yeah. You're going out cold. Mm. Mm. In it, because if it's something on your face, for example, let's say you're yeah. getting your nose done, yeah. maybe, like, if that goes wrong, you're f that's your yeah, face, yeah. you know, that's mm. gone. But then if it goes right, you see people that look so good, like, actually look wavy. So I don't know, like, it's a techie one. I think, what, do you want to start? Yeah, do you pass the cut? Should I just look at yeah. the questions? <laughs> okay, I feel like it's a, it's a difficult one. I know, like, I, 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 I feel like there's so many, like, levels on the spectrum about, like, getting things done. Do you know what I mean? I feel like naturally, when people have more money, they tend to get stuff done mm. anyway. So I think it is a very, like, certain mentality. You know, like, I feel like, like certain friends that I have that might have less money than other friends, they're saying they wouldn't do it, but... I if feel they, like if you had the money, money to do yeah, it, yeah, you definitely would. Yeah. Because if you look at any celebrities that you look at right now, 90% of them have some sort of thing mm. done, whether it's like their face, whether it's their body, whether it's, mm. you know. So I feel like really and truly, um, when I was younger, I wasn't very like, I didn't really, you know, believe in getting stuff done and things like that because, you know, you just grow up on that mentality. Everyone around you, mm. the natural thing to say is, oh, no, 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 you shouldn't do but that's, that's you shouldn't funny you say that though, because there's people, when you're younger or something, you might look at your face or something and feel like, oh, man, if I just fix my nose right now, mm. it'd be blessed, innit? Yeah, so but I think, like, you're naturally, at, at that age, you're naturally taught straight away, no, like, you shouldn't, like, you shouldn't want to change those things. Like, just by, like, let's say your parents or people around you, yeah. family members, you know, they don't want you to change, at least most people that I know. However, I feel like as you get older really and truly it's no one's business and if you look good then damn like you've yeah. spent your money well and you yeah. know you've done your thing properly so yeah I, i'm not against it and i think that it re i think people that are extremely against it the only thing i will i am against is if you do get work done and then you like sell a booty guide for example yeah. or you or you or you, or you say oh I've, I've, I've done this through just this or, or like, this the, yeah. like you can keep things private because i don't think it's anybody's business what you do with your personal life but like mm. when you like are out of there like selling stuff saying oh this is how i did this and mm. i want you to buy this from me yeah, because yeah. then it then that's where it is. They're trying to I make mean, their piece. They're trying to do their thing. You no, know but you're promoting it's like, it in the wrong way, though, isn't it? Yeah. Like, just your personal trainer. So, what's your opinion, like? Like, I think I honestly think it's each to their own. I don't think there's anything wrong with getting plastic surgery. Mm. I think 
again, if we all had the money to get plastic surgery, we would fix every majority of the time people fix most like. insecurities in our body. Like you have people like Kylie Jenner, or Kendall, Kylie Jenner, she Kendall updated. Jenner, but even Kendall she's Jenner, really she's so good yeah. though. But even Kendall Jenner has had like minor tweaks, but she just because she's done, yeah, you on can her tell, face. Like, she was the only. No, no, but no, like no, you no, want no, everyone no, 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 that yeah, came like out she's the womb. Done it, she's done it very naturally though, so even mm. little things can make a very big difference. Mm -hmm. So I'm not against it. I think it's literally each to your own. And again, like you said, don't promote it and say this is my hard work or uh -huh, whatever. Yeah. If it you bought it, do you get me? Literally, yeah. so. literally what Umra said because you see that kind of fucks up like the young girls in yeah. society. Like mm -hmm. it's been happening since forever, but more now than ever because social media has become so big so you're say. literally having all these girls like looking at these pictures thinking oh I want to look like Kylie Jenner I want to look like this and it's like bro like they've done a lot to it's look like that unrealistic expectation yeah and then you've got like the like... Snapchat filters and everything oh it's God, just yeah. fucking up young girls and I think that's the only thing that I that's really true. don't fuck with like if you're doing it at least like and if you're someone big at least be honest about it do you yeah. know what I mean yeah, so you're not having young like, girls just try and upset. guess it and lie and yeah I don't, it. I don't I think transparency transparency is important but I also think that like you're entitled to a private life so mm, if you've yeah. got work done you shouldn't like just because you have a following let's say or some, something of the sort you shouldn't have to like oh by the way guys if you if you're noticing no, something definitely. different I've done this yeah, no yeah, yeah. But, but I think but in a gym sense yeah 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 but That's in a gym thing. sense 100% but then again, I also know people that have had work done and are like PTs or they've mm -hmm. had, you know, whatever. And then also then I'm just like, really and truly, it just comes down to like how much you care about it. Because someone like you will be like, I've worked hard and like to to change my body. So when someone is promoting something that they've put no work in, it's like shitting on what you've done. Mm. Do you know what I mean, that's why you're offended by it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but then yeah, like, yeah. Um, not that that's wrong, um, but then someone like me who is just looking at it might just be like, oh, I don't give a shit if they're still yeah, on the beat. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what they I mean? They still go gym. They still they're like, maintaining it. Well, like, like, my thing is, I, I agree with it. I'm not against it. Mm. I'm just one of those, one of those ones. I think maybe, I don't know if it's a girl thing or a boy thing, but I feel like you've been created that way. Yeah. Mm. So, Everyone's beautiful in their own way, innit? Yeah. Mm. Kind of come on some little. <laughs> like, oh, like, thing, but everyone's got their own little. <laughs> they all got their own, like, they're good at satin or they. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So just take that on board and work with that. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? It's if you're going said around, than done, I know though. there's easier said than do done. Mean, but there's stuff the I could change, but, like, I'm just going to deal with it. Like, this is me. I could change yeah. it if I wanted to change it, but I just feel like doing all that is just. But like, I think in society, girls have a higher expectation to live up to than guys do. I mean, I could be wrong, but. I, the, the to be fair, guys do look up to like other like athletes or whatever and be like, oh, I wish I could look like mm. him. We don't dwell it on as much as girls 100%. do. And we, we're around people all the time. Because it's, it's, it's down at, to social media yeah, again. Yeah, again, it is social, social media mm. and like just an uh, unrealistic concept. But some Everyone's... people take it too far though. There's people out here trying to look like flipping, yeah, <laughs> Kylie Jenner or David Beckham. Like mm. they'll literally try and uh, try their hardest and pay racks. I'm talking like 30, 40 racks to try and look like a celebrity. That's too far. I don't I don't agree with that. I think if you look like that way pure, for a reason, just stay like that. That's if what your I intentions think. are pure when you're doing it and you're not doing it cuz I want to look like Kylie Jenner. You're doing it cuz yeah. maybe there's something you're insecure about mm -hmm. or there's just something that you want to work on yourself. But then it's kind of like why are you insecure about it? Like it's when true, did but... thin lips become like like the ugliest thing in the world yeah. do you know what I mean yeah. like social yeah. media made that thing like oh like what the hell is that like that you awful, gotta understand awful. though like everything goes hand in hand like the same breath we like the same way we're saying oh like girls like shouldn't have that pressure on them the pressure comes from like the reaction that males give them do you know what I mean mm. really and truly no it's not completely that because I will say that a lot of the time for example like women do things for themselves and men might not agree but like when I wake up and I put makeup on some days it's because I want to feel better yeah, looking yeah, do you know what I mean yeah. and you know makeup is a, is not surgery but it's a form of like changing something about myself enhancing my features for me to feel better and then the same way like you can get into the topic of men and it's like oh why do men have to do certain things like oh why have they got to have money why do they got to do this but it's yeah. because it's like the pressure that comes from the female side like yeah, a man's got to yeah, have this yeah. so it goes all the way back to evolution these are the things women are women are um like wanted for do you know what i mean yeah, to look good to, to look to look like you can carry a child to look like you can do these things all these like you know so it all comes from that but social media is just like enhanced it to a point where now you have to question is that like mental health illness yeah. like, that you're going that's that the, far it's always yeah. deeper now that's mm. the thing too i don't yeah. know it's too tough but uh, caring about this what about what about bbo for, for girls mm. You know, Does that stand for Brazilian butt lift? Butt lift. Yeah. Butt lift. Yeah. I said that to someone, they were like, no, don't stand for that. <laughs> I was like, what, 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 what do I really know? Maybe it actually does, I don't know. But you asked the guy that, innit? The yeah, only thing I'm not going to beat it out, but yeah, I did ask the The only guy. thing that I think about that is... Um, because that's something you can change. Like if you go gym or something, mm. you can work on your bum. You can mm. do that. But if it's like your nose or something, yeah, yeah that's oh, off. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. that's a sticky one because you've got to rock that to make it better. <laughs> you know what it is, yeah? I think that um, it. the only worry that, once again... 
like for example i don't know if you don't remember that episode of keeping up where kim went to the, um the, like getting like an ex or something, yeah, or something and she's like and i ain't got anything, yeah. yeah she's like i got like what well, like i ain't got no implants yeah, in my bum but she obviously had a bbl yeah, 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 I mean? oh. so she'd had like fat transfer but obviously back then it was just a thing that celebrities that it wasn't mm. as common that like, you can't just fly to turkey or fly somewhere to get your body done mm. um it's not as accessible i don't think there's anything wrong once with one with doing your body because i don't think you can draw a line and be like, oh, it's fine to do your breasts, but you, but a BBO is out of the, like, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, However, the same thing though, if you do your bum, then it's the same as doing your breasts, no? Nah, like there's little, like it's variations in it. The BBO is like seen as the most like big transformation you can have a surgery at the current moment, I think anyway. Yeah. Mm. The only thing that I would say, in my, that the only thing I have an opinion on in the whole thing is um, safety. It's known as the most, deadliest dangerous, dangerous yeah. um, surgery you can get oh, and, fuck that then and yeah, also rates really really high and also and what's because actually it's new, going into the booty what's fat, fat. your own fat, oh, your own fat. That, but, <laughs> but, it's the, but the thing that. is it's more like health concerns like mm. you don't know the truth is with a bbl whether you get it done or not you don't know what you're going to look like in 20 years time that's mm. the truth oh yeah because it's a new surgery it changes yeah. it's a new the surgery shape, yeah, do you know what i mean but then again people like kim kardashian have had things like that done since god knows when so you don't really know but yeah that's my opinion i don't know would any of you girls get that done me personally, no, but that's just because I feel like I think I, I'm just in your the industry. Yeah, I'm a personal say, trainer. Like, yeah. but I if you like, wasn't in that industry, then would you think about doing that? If I'm you didn't do fitness like, at all, yeah. I don't know. I always said if you have all the money in the world, mm. your idea of everything is very different. Mm-hmm. So ask yeah. me when I'm a millionaire, but I'm not gonna get no. it done. But yeah, ask yeah, me when like, I'm a millionaire, things change. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that. Um, the more money I have, I definitely make like little changes here and there for sure. I can't. I will say never say never. Same as Malika, because for me, it's like. It's very righteous to sit and be like, yo, I'll never do anything, da 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 da, da. Mm. But slap. Couple months later, you know what I mean? you've done it. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? It's like, babe, I'm looking different. Do you know what I mean? And, I'm, and I want you to think yeah, I look yeah, different because yeah. I paid for this. Do you know what I mean? And the industry that I'm in or trying to be in, let's say, everybody has work done. Everybody. You don't meet people. So do you feel have... like that's pressure for you to do that as well? To kind of, um, is it a fit in kind of thing or is it no, like? No, I think it's more like you're more confident in Com- yourself. Yeah, it's so. not like, don't get me wrong. When you do things like surgery, I wholeheartedly believe an element of it is um, like, not for the opposite gender, but obviously to be more appealing. Do you know what I mean? And mm. if you're, if I, if I like men, that's who I'm appealing to. Do you know what I mean? But at the same time, I'm pretty sure that a lot of the time when people do surgery and things like that is to feel more confident in themselves. You know what I mean, to feel more like I can do things and and not be judged in a certain way in comparison to maybe the way I looked before. Mm. So yeah, that's like, that's what I think. What do you think? I mean, I've definitely had like moments where I thought, oh yeah, I definitely want to do it, and then I'm like, oh no, I don't. Mm. And then you know, you keep changing your mind, but I'm I'm more on a like sense of like, no, I don't want to do it. Like I want to not be able to do it, and I want to say it's more like. You just want to be able to have more confidence in yourself mm. and you want to think, oh, okay, I really don't, like, I don't need it. Like, it's not important. But obviously, like, again, never say never, never you don't know, know, but I would love to not do it. And the only reason I'd say that, though, I think the only, re- only thing that really stops me is kind of like, I don't know, I wouldn't want my daughter to do it. Like, I want to be able to look at my daughter and be like, bro, like, you don't need to do that. Like, yeah. it's fine. Yeah. And I feel like you don't really understand until you've got a child. So, mm. and I kind of want to be able to, like, say, like, I haven't done nothing. Like, I haven't done that. Like, you don't need to. You're beautiful. Because like, yeah, yeah. I know she's going to go through way more than any of us have gone through yeah. in this generation because I know it's going to be so much worse for like all our daughters that are like, going to come mm. but so um, true. yeah that's the only thing but um, yeah it's just I don't know man it's a difficult one yeah, yeah I just don't, I, it's not that I don't agree with the, the, the butt lift thing it's just that Everyone can work on it. I feel it's just, like, it's just an easy route out. Like, yeah, but the thing is, though, mean? you can't do what a BBL can do because I love yeah. how guys always can sit there. Not? And, no, no. no. Guys always maybe I'm there. completely wrong and I don't know no, too tough. But mm-hmm. I promise you, especially all of us, we are gym goers. Okay, don't get twisted. Sometimes we eat badly. I will not <laughs> put my hands up. I eat so badly, bro. I eat horribly. But we've gone gym a lot to a point where like we've seen There's how like, our body can change like, yeah. yeah so it's like, like yeah. there's certain things you can't just give yourself a skinny waist they don't work like that if yeah. you're losing fat you're losing fat everywhere and it's all yeah. down to genetics as well like my personal trainer like she um whenever we used to train and that she would literally like, she has so many different clients and she's got some women yeah that have been weight training for years and they just look and she's been weight training for years and they just look she just can't the girl just can't grow a bum mm. and the thing so, is yeah it's down to genetics. So her body, like her quads are huge. Everything's huge, but her bum just grows at a lower, like a smaller rate. Yeah. So don't get me wrong. Like I'm not, you know, no, a, it's uh, not that I feel like it's she not, she can't grow a bum. It's just not the bum that she wants that she's seeing yeah, on yeah, the social media. Yeah, yeah, like, like, as in, as in like, it's not growing at the rate that she wants, like the, like her, the rest of her body is growing. Like just that, like sometimes it is down to genetics. Like a lot of people that do bodybuilding and stuff, a lot of them like, 
you do you will do better if you have a ben- better genetic you know yeah. um foundation than yeah. the next person yeah it's not that you can't win if you don't have that but it plays a big role especially yeah, when you get into role. that stuff properly like my pt she is so she's lucky genetically where she can build like muscle very quickly in comparison to other people mm. so that plays a role. Not saying that that is the only way to, you know, like, oh, you can't, if you don't have good genetics, you're fucked. No. Yeah. But do you know what I mean? Like, it, it, <laughs> Just give up now. Like, nah, nah, no, not at all. But like, there are other factors that play a role. But a BBL and the way that body looks, you can see it. Any, any um, American female that you've seen us, you know, up, any, even Kylie, look at that body isn't like, you can't get that in a gym. Because it's been because people pay to look like that. It's not like even things like hip dips. If you're growing your body and your bum, you're gonna get hip dips. Exactly. That's why we get you girls to come on because this is what you lot know about. Isn't it? I just thought, I just thought, yeah, man, stop being lazy. Go gym and do your nah, thing. Exactly. Like, no, no, I'm too harsh. That's deep from me. Days where I'm just like, I just want to give up because I won't look how I want to look in my head. Mm. Yeah. And sometimes I'm like, is it realistic? Is it not? But like, mm. I can never look like a celebrity but I see on the ground but it's good that me, you're but... aware of that conflict though because some yeah, people yeah, are in course. the conflict and they don't know like how yeah, to look yeah. at it from a third party yeah, yeah, yeah. like you're looking and thinking I know these factors and I know that th- like this is wrong and like like I could do this or I could do that but like you're looking at it from an outside yeah. perspective and being like okay but I'm still going to move forward do you know yeah, what I mean yeah, exactly but I yeah. think it's just important to like be the best version of yourself you that you can do you know what I mean because that's the most you can do you can't transform yourself like that like it's just mm. not realistic mm. and it's just annoying when you have those people who have had BBLs who go to the gym and say oh you look like me like I look like this and yeah. it's like and just, just you're, the you've got it in your head like oh my god let me go gym all the time every day and I'm going to look like this and it's like you're not going to look like that yeah. and it's just kind of like and then you're going to beat yourself up about it and think oh why can't I look like that like what am I doing wrong and it's just mm. like a constant battle let's yeah. move on let's move on we'll be here all day yeah, so I would just say if it makes you happy then do your thing yeah, yeah. do your thing 100% Dario, would you do a BBL <laughs> would I get a BBL yeah. no flipping way man Come my daughter's not getting it as well <laughs> my daughter's going to watch it as well when she's older or something she can watch this she's not getting that so sorry yeah I'm right, on to you. Okay. BBL. Would okay. I get a BBL? You know? <laughs> You're moving nuts right now. What's going on with Black right now? Black has always got the jokes, oh. though. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for this one. Okay. Oh, shock. You get that one. Music industry. <laughs> okay. Thoughts on artists sending for each other and is it better to be independent or with a record label? Just in case you guys don't know, I'm a singer. So <laughs> <laughs> that's there you go, there you go, there you go. A um, bit of self-promo, my first single's coming out at the end of the month. We love that, we love <laughs> 28th that. 28th of October. What's it called? Um, it's called Gemini Heart and um, I'm a Gemini. So, you know, before everyone comes to me and says she's some astrology girl, if you're I, not a Gemini, then get, then get I am out. A Gem- of course I'm oh, a Gemini. Gemini. You look, I, you am I a Gemini? No, no, I'm not a Gemini. No, I'm a Gemini. I'm so extra. I wear a Gemini necklace. Okay, we'll let you yeah. off. If not, then you're out that door. Yeah, but, yeah. I know. I would have actually walked up and said, you know what? I'm doing too much. I would have yeah, walked okay. out. Okay, cool. Um, what do I think? Thoughts on eyes sending for each other? <laughs> I think I think it's funny. It you know, is <laughs> funny, but they need to grow up, man. You know, I think the only thing... So recently, the Stormzy and Chip thing, right? The only thing I think about that, um, and I had this conversation with loads of people, is my worry is just like, you know, like Stormzy, for example, like he is a, um, how do I put it? Like an activist. He's a, he's, he's mm. taken on the role as a political activist. He has a scholarship fund with, I don't know if it's Oxford or Cambridge. Mm. And he has like, he's taken on this role of, he's an artist, but he's also a man for the people. Do you know what I mean? There's a difference, yeah? In comparison to like Chip. Like Chip is rated in the industry. Everyone say, yeah, grime this, that, that, that whatever. But everyone knows he's a street boy. Do you know what I mean? It's not that Stormzy isn't a street guy like, from the streets and stuff. It's just that he has he's a public figure. People across the country know who he is. Mm. So when you're doing things like, you know, getting into these little squabbles and that. <laughs> like, obviously, I don't know the details, but, but when you're doing these things, it's kind of just like, w- what image are you portraying to people? Because you have people looking at you running up to man's it's house on a, an, on, on a yeah, video. You see the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, at first glance, when you're seeing that, you're thinking, but come on, you're here supporting. Like, he's amazing for the some of the stuff he's done. I have a friend that um, has a book that come out with them. Wait, um, who's amazing? Stormzy or Chimney? Stormzy, Stormzy. Okay. Like, amazing in what he does activist-wise. Like, he has uh, murky books. He's got a mm. public publication yeah, line. He's, like, doing a lot. he's doing a lot for young people as well. Yeah. And then it's like the same young people are seeing that. And then it's like, I understand that. Like, you still don't want to be disrespected. It's because it's like his past kind of, not catches up with him, but it's like, you can't run away from yeah. it. Do you know what I mean? Of like course, he was kind of a yeah. bad boy like back in the day or something and he's still mm-hmm. kind of got that role but then now he's kind of gone commercial and he's got to be this person yeah. that's always good and do you know what I mean? I think it's like yeah. he's going to get caught up in it eventually. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, this is what I mean. It's a hard one. I think artists send them for each other in general just for a female like me. I mean, I don't know about you girls. I guess you can go into it after but I just find it interesting because I'm thinking yeah. I'm not from the streets. Like, yeah, you're just I don't, I'm not in the road life. I'm yeah. a civilian. I don't do none of that. Do you <laughs> yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So when I'm watching it and I'm seeing it, it's interesting to keep up with. But then it, at the end of the day, it kind of... Do you think it's real? 
I don't. I thought he's. Just, I thought, they've got an album coming out, yeah. Stormzy's got a next thing, and Chipmunk's got a next thing. Them men are probably what's up at each other and saying, oh, is that a rap? I see this. Like, obviously, <laughs> we're still going to be brethren, but like, they've got albums coming out. They're just to promote themselves and stuff, man. Like, come on, I man. Know, I, I feel like. I think there's been occasions in the past where that's happened and like there's a lot of like Wiley was just trying to stay relevant. That's what I was gonna say. He's knackered, man. He's done out there, man. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like I feel like with <laughs> Wiley's a funny one. But I feel like in general, <laughs> with the industry, there from like what I've seen, bear in mind, I'm a very new artist. I don't know like like I know people like like just in general, but like in terms of like industry and stuff there's so much that goes on that people the normal person isn't aware of and there's a lot of marketing techniques that people use whether it's relationships mm. whether it's um beef whether it's things like that to kind of get themselves out there but really and truly what do you expect people to do otherwise do you know what i mean they yeah, need to yeah. get their shit out somewhere mm. it, so um, but yeah what do you not think about industry beef I mean, I thought a bit of what you said to be relevant, but then someone like Stormzy doesn't really need mm. to stay relevant. It's like he's yeah. going yeah. to be relevant for a long time. Mm. Maybe someone like Chip, a little bit more so, like needs to get out there, but I don't know. Yeah, bro, I'm sorry, but Stormzy was pissed, bro. Stormzy was <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the way he's rolling up to Cribs and Yeah, that like, is I don't know. Like, it's just, yeah, it's what, what, what Umrah said. When, you, when you've got such a big audience and they mm. look up to you for mm. what he's put himself out there for, and then you do something like squabble with chip, piss a bit. You're kind of like yeah. bringing yourself you, down a little you, bit. What are you yeah. putting out there? But the yeah. fact that Chip uh, Stormzy hasn't actually replied to Chipmunk. It's been three rhythms now, or yeah. three track. diss tracks. He's yeah. the hours. Like I feel like for Stormzy, he doesn't need to because yeah, if he doesn't. does, he's allowing Chipmunk to be relevant again. I like, think that's, I'm not saying he's not relevant, yeah. but it's like. Do you know what I mean? Because a lot of pe- um, a lot of people were just in general like, oh, what Stormzy can't respond, but I don't think he couldn't respond. I think he genuinely was like, I'm just gonna look past it, like I'm gonna be, yeah. I'm gonna rise above it type yeah. thing. And obviously, some people will say, oh, that's not like he was just doing that because he can't, yeah. like respond. But I genuinely think he probably realized, okay, this is too much bad publication. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Pub- yeah. especially sorry. after that video that went. Yeah, yeah, because you know I mean? that woman was recording him, and like it looks bad. Like yeah. bear in mind, like he is very like up in the sense he's probably the richest rapper in the UK so yeah. it's one of them ones where it's like he's gonna have people come back to him and these are like companies these are people that affiliate with him saying yeah. what are you doing yeah, yeah, so yeah. so he's gonna have to like if he's gonna then add fuel to the fire like no one thinks like that though they're just thinking oh yeah. he can't respond yeah you know what I mean? us as people that are just watching it that's we want to see him mm. like, reply back if you don't it's like right you're pussy blood like you've mm. got nine back mm. so, yeah I don't know what do you think Lily? no literally that I think he realized what he did and like he knows how big he is. He knows how important he is. So I think everyone probably stuck it on him. His manager, whoever, like yeah. probably stuck on him and said, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, yeah. This yeah. looks bad. Like, look at this video. Watch it. What do you <laughs> think this says like yeah. about you? So you probably thought, oh, shit. Like, yeah, let me just pattern up. Let me not say anything. Let me leave it. But yeah, I think at the same time, I think it's also important for everyone else to not. You see when like these beefs go on, everyone gets so involved. Like it's their own beef. Yeah. That's what yeah. I do. Yeah. I think it's like, oh, this person said this. Right. This person said that. Oh, but this person said that. It's and entertaining and, and that. Yeah, it's funny. But yeah. it's just like, and you're bri- not even beefing him like <laughs> literally and they'll start bringing up tweets from 08 and yeah. they start doing yeah. like, the <laughs> warrior right. and <laughs> they're backing him like it's his uncle what's the other question it on says there? is it better to be independent or with a record label yeah, so, so we was having that chat outside yeah. when you was trying to park up your thing. Oh, and when you was asking me if I was signed. Yeah, and I was like, are you signed? Yeah, or? Um, so yeah, I have management. But the way, yeah, um, for me personally, as a singer, um, I think it depends um, a lot recently in um, the news and just recently in like celebrity gossip or whatever you want to call it, just, you know, information that's been out there. A lot of people have been like getting like really bad deals or they, or they end up in deals and then they're really struggling to get out. And it just really messes with your career. However, I was having a conversation with my manager and it really comes down to, for me personally, I think um, how much money you have as a, as an independent person and what you can do for yourself. And if it's like a better opportunity cost to go for someone that can sign you and just invest money into you. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I think it comes down to the artist. Um, independent just makes it easier. And then you don't have to like, no one has ownership over your shit. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I was saying. No. If you get shows or stuff, that's you. You've done the hard work. Like, you you crafted for this. Now. Yeah, you like, get every single bit of pee. Well, obviously, well, yeah. majority you get majority. It, you yeah. will get majority. I need to ask you a question. Yeah. yeah. You just as people following you. I saw this, yeah. What? What's going on? <laughs> Drake follows around. Umrah. What's what go on? Uh, Drizzy Drake, Champagne Puppy follows you on the ground. You think he was getting away with that one? <laughs> Wait, are we gonna pretend it's not um, happening? Like, nah, he's cool. He's cool. Um, it just happened one day, to be honest. Like, I don't. So Drake just. Follow, bust yeah. a follow and that's yeah, it yeah 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 but that's, Drake like, I are know. we not even a Drake no, yeah, but, yeah. 
Don't act like he's Drake. Yeah, like from acting or something. Yeah, Drake, it's Drake, blood. Yeah, I mean, like, like, Drizzy, I, like, like, like oh, fuck, like. Aubrey, yeah. <laughs> <That's an> Aubrey, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're on them terms with him. Me. Do you call him Drake or do you call him Aubrey? Like, what's yeah. going on, like? I've had a guy come up to me and be like, oh, like, what, what, where are those from? Or what's this? I'm thinking, bro, H&M. Like, what are you asking me, bro? And he's sitting there thinking, I am no, not, no, I'm, I'm not, not yeah. So I was literally like, why am I here? Like, there what am I doing? Like, but I, then it I goes to it. the other way, though. If you had, if you had the P, the money, I'm not saying none of you girls no. do, but if you did have it, would you be wearing that more? Um, would you be more? No. You can't go wrong with the simple hoodie yeah. or yeah. tracksuit. Yeah. Like, there's little things you'd like for yourself, but Like a nothing. cute bag or maybe yeah. some nice shoes or, do you know what I mean? Like, like I don't... Sutton, so yeah, like, like Lily's got a cute little bag over there somewhere. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, like, there, it's not like, oh, if you wear designer, you cannot chat to me. Yeah, no. no. It's just, don't chat to me if you wear designer. <laughs> <laughs> Gucci, I'm not there. No, no, it's not that. It's more just like... Be I humble think, with it. That's yeah, what it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, it's no, it's, yeah, even that, but more so just like, the the conversation doesn't have to be about what you're wearing yeah. and what you do. It's not yeah. every day, oh, I got turn around, I got this, I got that, like, I got I got money, I've got, oh, like, look, like, it's not flashy, flashy every day, because then I just think like, if I strip this all away from you, and also, how do you spe- expect a woman to like you for you if that's all you present? Do you know what I mean? Mm, like, once, that's all like, you got, like. Yeah, that's once true. you strip that away, like, what is there? And the truth is, I don't know. I, I mean, I think these girls will agree. I don't know about the people that will listen to this because there are. I have female friends, and I, it's not a disrespect. And I, and I rate their thing. They won't chat to man if they ain't got it. Do you know what I mean? They will not yeah. talk to man if they ain't got money, designer car, if yeah, they can fly them yeah. out. Da, 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 da. And I'm now, not. Them a... girls there, that potentially gives me the ick. That, yeah, there that, you go. Yeah. 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 Do you know what I mean? That's the yeah. ick for me but straight away. As a woman that has um, that, that, like, we think like this, and I have friends that are on the complete, you know, I have like friends on the other spectrum where mm. that's all they care about. They don't care about your personality. They yeah. just want. But, but it comes down to, like, I know, but even them girls, I know. That they're more likely to fall for someone like and like if they really love them they won't like rinse them the same way that they yeah, rinse other men yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean same as these girls I know like no matter whether you're in a relationship or you're not like anyone you're seeing or da 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 like we know from past experiences as well if there's someone that you really really like or you love or whatever let me pay for it let, like, yeah no, I, I actually yeah. want to pay like I'm there like oh babe I got it it's fine and they're looking at me like what like right, you're yeah. gonna pay we spoke about this bare times innit yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't imagine. let a girl pay for me not that just but like, I like it's, doing it sometimes like, I feel like though, like, it should be 50 I like it if you're like, like no I've got this because I'm just like alright cool okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not actually gonna pay for it don't even touch it but the fact that you're actually willing to offer or whatever that's nice isn't it yeah but do you know what it is with me like I don't even think it's a willing thing like I feel like if I'm with someone like that's our partnership like yeah, i don't 100%. want you like we're meant to be like splitting things like we're yeah, yeah. building together it easier for them. yeah so why it's kind of like yeah. why do i want you to spend all your money that you've worked hard for i've worked hard too let me spend mine today like it's not a problem like we're together like as yeah. our partnership this isn't just like a you pay for me and i don't know i'm taking care of the household like life isn't like yeah, that anymore yeah. like that's not how it is 50 yeah. 50 kind of thing mm-hmm. yeah. yeah but also with the, like the whole clothes thing i think the designer thing's more of a priorities thing for me, so it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, you're yeah. prioritizing these clothes instead of perhaps yeah. like a house, a house yeah. you know, a, a good car, like, picture. Yeah, exactly. So that's what it sort of says to me when I see you wearing this and that. I'm thinking, bro, that's like, like you could spend that better. Like it's just yeah. like there's better things to spend your money on. So that's why it's, it's just that. a stunting thing for the, a lot of them. Yeah. I mean. More, more time they're breaking their back to even get that during yeah. corona were you wearing this on your couch like, yeah. were you watching TV yeah. Yeah. Real, you know, real. Like, I walking around in your so Gucci boots like, I know for a fact everyone was just wearing a little like calm tracky yeah. so why yeah. is that suddenly not a thing now that everything's open again it's like oh let me now wear this because yeah. I'm going out yeah. so clearly you're not doing it for yourself you're doing it for yeah. how people image, image. It, obviously like the thing is like no yeah like no one here is saying design is a bad thing do you yeah. know what I mean like design is there to be bought to be worn do you know what I mean but it's just one of them ones where it comes down to like if that's what you're presenting to a woman, don't expect her to be any different when yeah. like shit changes for you. Yeah. Like, don't sorry, expect her to be different. Sorry. So if if all of a sudden you like you you've created it, like I've had friends that aren't used to the lifestyle, they'll get with a guy that you know has the lifestyle supposedly, and then like all of a sudden, like let's say like something goes wrong with them, mm. them girls are dipping. They don't give a shit yeah, because they're yeah. not in love with you. They're in love with what you've what yeah, you've given them. Just the image. Do you know what I mean? Like. And what can you can you blame them like yeah. really? But yeah. I don't like that. I don't like how a guy can change everything for me and then I got to go back to normal. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. thing. I want to know that it? I've always got always my said, own. We're the type of girls we want to do stuff for ourselves. We don't want yeah. to rely yeah. on anyone else to be like I got 100%. you. Hundred percent. Yeah. For you to yeah. like, for example, I always say this. Yeah, like countless times people will say to me, "Oh, let me fly you out," and it's bad, stupid. <laughs> and I just think check the camera uh, roll is good. Catch a bad shit right now. Like, <laughs> like without names, so people will say to me, "Oh, let me fly you out," and I think like, don't get me wrong, like I'm comfortable, like I have money for myself, but I'm just thinking. 
I will never be that girl that's in a situation, yeah, where she goes abroad and then boom, like all of a sudden something goes wrong and what you can't fly yeah. home. I would never sit there and be like, oh yeah, let me go live this lifestyle. It doesn't matter who you are. You could be a billionaire. You could would be you a let billionaire. Let a guy fly you up? No, 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 definitely not. No. Unless they're my boyfriend. You, so you haven't? Done no, this. I haven't. And he's asking <laughs> me. There was that one time. No, no, I, I've never, I've never, and I don't think I ever will. My thing is like, unless I'm with them, like that's my partner. That's different. Um, yeah, because otherwise, what am I flying out for? Let's be real. Yeah. They're trying to sleep with me. Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah. we're not gonna let's not beat around the bush yeah. I mean yeah, let's keep you, it real now. yeah you go you go like <laughs> you, get, you get a trip and then what you sleep with them and then and there's not like I'm like honestly there's so, you know it's so mad that you girls say this though because there's so many girls that'll be like yeah what are we waiting for but yeah, Paris I, right now yeah, okay, we'll we'll do you know what I mean we were talking about I was telling the girls I was saying there was someone that said to me they want to find me out and then I was just like who they said to you Someone said to me, yeah. um, like they wanted to fly me out, and then I was like, um, if and Drake I said, wanted to fly you out, would you fly? Would you let him fly you out? No, no, like no, <laughs> no, no. no, no, no. Okay, I'm just trying to catch you out. No, no, I wouldn't fly out for anyone. Catch us on tape. I would not fly out for anyone just because, like, for me, it's it's a principle thing. Like, if I and it's not even even if, like even if I can fly out and do what I can like comfortably, mm. for me, it's like. It's an entitlement thing, like especially this day and age. Girls getting flying out, flowed out, and what is it for? Let's be real. Yeah. They're not going to yeah. just have a good time. They expect I mean? something in return. Of course, like, and I don't see the views in that. Yeah, yeah that's sure it. you are. Yeah, yeah. 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 You see like, the scenery in that. Yeah, all right, and man. And, and you know what? Some girls. I rate their thing. They're like, you know what? We ain't got it like that. Like, this guy can offer me this lifestyle. Why not? Like, I yeah. got. Do you Some girls keep it real. If that's you, it. then I rate it. I rate it. I don't even see it as like, if that's you cool. Like, it's, for me, I'm like, bro, do your thing, bro. Mm. Because mm. there are because more time the amount of men but that have an issue with it. Hold on, the amount of men that have an issue with it. This is sad. The amount of men that have an issue with it. Like, if you not was females, you'd be doing it a yeah, hundred times 100. more. Don't lie. Just, don't <laughs> lie. Like, I'm not here to I'm hit. not going to lie. If someone said, oh, uh, Dario, do you want to try to fly up? Pick it already. Woman, Why have you not picked it? Woman, Why are we still here? In the same breath, if a woman came to any guy I know, like, and was like, oh, let me fly you out, they're dipping the next day. They're there. So, it's so different, though, because that no, won't actually... That is such a stunt. I would love to do that. Yeah. Let me fly you out. I'm not going to lie, I probably would. I'll be because like, it's right, rare, cool. because it's not likely, mm. it's like it's easier to look at a woman and be like, oh, you're moist, how are you getting flown out? Like, yeah, oh, you're, you're belong to yeah, the streets. Yeah. But you're forgetting, this girl's now just done Tour de France across the world, bro. Like, she's, yeah. she, how many, she's yeah, how many times yeah. and how many of these trips have you Paris been on in a year? Like, I have friends that, you know, they Swear. live, they live, they live. And all I say, like, I personally wouldn't do it just because of the career that I want and like where I want to go into. And like, even these girls, I know, I know, I know that because they like, because we have like goals and we go for ourselves, it kind of deviates from what we're doing. Mm. However, like, I'm not saying I would do it, but I'm just saying like, if I was in a position like another female where it's like, I just work a normal nine to five, like, and, mm. I probably um, would. <laughs> and this, and this, and this, yeah. and like, as in like, I'm not looking to do anything else for my life, but just that. And like, it's, it's, it's not mediocre, but it's like, like I need to like for me to level up. Yeah. Like what the hell? Like yeah, and yeah. some random man is thinks I'm beautiful and he's trying to f not even random. It could be someone they're just seeing. Do you know what I mean? Funny, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, everyone's doing it. Let's not lie. And anyone that's watching this is capping. If they're saying it. <laughs> Facts. I'm, I'm glad you kept it real. Cappers. Let's go on to the last one. Let's throw it off in the deep that. end. Oh, discrimination. Okay, onto a more serious kind of topic now. Yeah, but what discrimination are we talking about? There's what positive kind? and negative kind of discrimination. Mm. Yeah, I was talking to someone today and they were like. How can discrimination be positive? Yeah, I was like, no, there actually is. I'm about yeah. to ask you that right now because what? So the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want that? Uh, yeah, I'll start. Is um, that it? Is that all it says? Yeah. Yeah, discrimination. Okay. So discrimination in the UK, I feel like it's a big, big thing. When I'm saying positive discrimination, I think like it's happened to me. Maybe not actually. Yeah, has it? Probably has actually. You know, I like you're going for you're like a, a certain role or a certain job or yeah, something. Yeah, you're trying to meet it like a description. Yeah. Like, you're only getting it because you meet that criteria. Oh, like, like yeah. as in like when they do like programs like, oh, black British young people. And yeah. it's like, or like, I mean? yeah. And obviously I'm loving it because I'm actually got an opportunity now like, to mm -hmm. actually get it. But then again, it's like, there's always a flip side. And mm -hmm. I just feel like, I don't know, it's hard to kind of balance it because obviously discrimination is such a big thing. It's never good to discriminate against anyone. But mm -hmm. then when it's like, when it's good for you, you're okay yeah. to be mm -hmm. taking those opportunities. Like especially like them corporate, like those white corporate jobs who are yeah. now thinking, okay, we need to like sort this out because, yeah. you know, Token. we've got 90% when, white people working yeah. here. So like let's like, you so know, that, employ more Asian, more yeah, black yeah. people mm -hmm. to like make our workforce just look better. Especially mm -hmm. after the BLM stuff, there was a tweet yeah. that said, now is the best time for people of colour to start applying, applying for, jobs for jobs because... Mm, Companies and are going to want how them should, to How should it. they feel? Like, I don't, obviously, it's sick, it's great. But it's, it's just good, like, yeah, I'm be... only getting that opportunity now because of everything that's been that going on. Yeah, we shouldn't yeah. have to have to go through the shit thing to get the good thing. Do you that's know what, what I mean? So I just feel like it's a bit like, I, mm, I feel like 
we live in a um a, a system that is the system is broken yeah mm. so there's never like we can't eradicate racism and discrimination unless you mm. scrap the whole system and start again the institution alone is racist yeah so any institutions you think about um police um you know school systems um even mm -hmm. the whole sh stuff with GCSE and A levels by postcode they were awarding that um and See? this yeah. what I'm saying that's so stupid. that was fucked that's, that's yeah, dumb you've got to understand that, that this stuff comes from England not even America let's not even look at racism in America England yeah we are colonial like we're, we're like we what's the word um, colonizers so mm. we've gone around the world and been like yeah. they've gone around the world and been hammering people from before we've been racist you know like, <laughs> for a long time racist. so it's in it's impossible to get rid of discrimination mm. it just comes down to for me personally how you look at it I've been on um, both ends um because my degrees in politics I've literally just like and when I've worked with politicians and when I've done stuff mm. I've literally seen myself but like when i've worked for charities and organizations i've seen them use me as a token asian yeah. like when all the radicalization stuff was happening mm. i did work with a charity and i was basically working with you know young kids and, and to do with radicalization and stuff like that and they they loved me because it was like oh there's yeah. an asian girl that's muslim who can who isn't being radicalized and how do you feel can, about that because obviously you're getting your opportunity to shine and that and do yeah. your thing but then it's just like is it for the right reasons? Is um, it, I don't. I think. I think with everything, there's an opportunity cost. I think there's pros and cons to anything you do in life. So yeah, it just depends on like how you see things. Like I could sit here and be like, I'm not going to take this opportunity because you guys are taking advantage of me. Yeah. Or yeah. I could be like, do you know what? In any circumstance in life, I'm gonna. There's gonna be a benefit for people to take me on, whether it's a job role or whether it's um, you know, something like this. Mm. And then. I just have to see it as is it worth what I'm gaining from it, yeah. and like with like I said, like with all the, I feel like discrimination now, it, it's just a difficult one. Do you know what I mean? Like there's always going to be discrimination in the UK. Positive discrimination is an amazing thing, I think, because at the end of the day, it gives people access to places that they didn't have access to before. And you know what? If people are like, if they're giving you access for the wrong reasons, fine, but at least you're infiltrating because it's either that or it's like, you just don't infiltrate, you know, those areas. You're not gonna, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, some people have looked at it. Like I was in a, a, a Labour Council meeting um, not long ago and a man came on and he was like, all this BLM and he was a black man from the Caribbean and he said all this BLM stuff is shit like you lot are like there's no progress at these mm. conversations I've had these conversations I was having these conversations 50 years ago that you're not having in this meeting yeah, yeah. and nothing's changed and like this is all shit and da 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 and then obviously you got the new wave of people and they're like oh um what like no like be positive da da yeah, da da, da. Yeah. so it just comes down to if you want to be black and white the, the, the institution is racist the mm. system is racist from police to schools to whatever like anyone that's in charge of shit is racist like mm. It just comes down to whether you as an individual and as a society, we want to keep working towards like making a racist society a bit less racist mm. or we want to eradicate the whole thing. But then how can we eradicate the whole thing? We just have to move back to our homelands. So what's, then. The, <laughs> yeah. what's the solution then? The solution is go back home and invest in what is what is at home. Like bear in mind, all our parents, everyone's in, like looks like they're immigrants here. Like their parents have come <laughs> from <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah, actually, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't assume. But everyone's parents have come from somewhere and it's like they've come from them because those opportunities weren't available yeah. there. And a lot of the time things back home it's like if not that our parents should have stayed there but if you know we turn our, our faces and go and invest in those places like let's say i want to go into politics uh, do i go back home and go into mm. politics or like mm. what we consider home and then it just gets complicated it's like one of those things like, my dad always says wherever you move you have to adapt to their lifestyle exactly it's one, you kind of accept that if you're moving from pakistan to yeah. england you're going to accept the racism that comes with it yeah Otherwise, and it's unfair and but you, it's, it's you just have to like one of those see things. if the risk is worth it and obviously it has been because here we are now but yeah, yeah. It's, and it's created opportunities exactly. for us however that doesn't mean that it, it should still be it here. should be a thing yeah, exactly. you know I mean? it's an explanation not a justification yeah, do you know what I mean yeah. at the end of the day it just comes down to your some days I wake up I'm at this place I want to get out of here but like <laughs> yeah, it'll take me away there, yeah. do you know what I mean and London is toxic at times but especially because I, I don't know if you don't feel it but you ever feel like you're too white for home but you're too you're, oh my god you're too yeah. brown for here yeah. you know what I mean I feel like London we, we would get custom Pakistan oh, and then right. I get oh in Iran so god. hard people oh look at me you know why, why are you talking about know, I would get custom if I went to Jamaica as well they wouldn't would even you? believe I'm Jama Jamaican yeah. oh my god look at me like the way I dress and stuff they would just be like oh no, he's not, this yeah, guy's mocking they'd look at our leggings and be like what is going on what you can't do that thing nah nah dress is down to here I'm telling them I'm personal trainer they'll be like personal what they're like no 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 <laughs> Go clean. <laughs> I think if you was back home, mm. well, whatever. Yeah. Would you rather? Would you? Do you suffer more here or there? What like? There's in, lack of freedom there, though. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. Would you get so it easier there? Would like? Would you not be discriminated as much? 
Oh, you wouldn't be discriminated. It wouldn't be discriminated. No, like a, I feel like no, no matter it's where it's you are. Gender, it's now it's gender is. discrimination then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we have gender discrimination issues. So and there's a lot of yeah. colorism as well. Especially I think like Asian, Asian, African Asian, countries. Asian, yeah, yeah, like, like a lot of... The darker you are back home, it normally associated to, back in the past, it associated being to being poorer. poorer. So yeah. you get like areas in Pakistan, for example, that are like, let's say more farmers and that kind of lifestyle. Um, and there was a whole, there's a whole caste system. I don't know about Pakistan. Um, yeah, there is. And in India as well, yeah. very uh, yeah. strong. And it's like you... Even now, today's like I've got like I knew people that that um which basically couldn't marry out of their caste. So it mm. doesn't mean like your cousin, but it means your caste because yeah. Pakistan. Yeah. <laughs> you lot are sus. What's going on on those sides? You lot are sus, boy. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> you know you can't defend it. You know you're just like shit. <laughs> but yeah, I think back home we'd face different struggles. So. It's one of those ones where if we were back home, we wouldn't know the life that is here. But yeah. because we've experienced this, I wouldn't move back just because mm-hmm. I can't have this life here that I would have there. I'd have a comfortable life mm. because women ain't got to do shit there. You could yeah, just yeah. be comfy. Your man's working. Do you know what I mean? But like... Is that the that, life you really want though? Like, but no. it doesn't mean that the life here is perfect. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I mean, you think you're better off here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. You'd, you'd stay here. Then definitely. Would you go... Yeah. Would you, I no, mean, Jamaica's I wouldn't. beautiful I think though. if I go to Jamaica, I get buoyed off. If I go to Ireland, I get buoyed off. I think <laughs> London <laughs> here is just... More multicultural. Yeah, yeah. Like, I fit in a lot yeah. more. I, this is home for me, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, like the life that you live back home is different like, i haven't been for you like, have a maid you have everything like it's different like i don't. honestly think the only thing you can't do is break generational curses which i think us lot would yeah. like to do do you get me yeah. like we're very here for like changing things change, yeah. yeah making change for our future kids or whatever i always not, say to my not parents being like our parents for example well, they've done well but there's still things that they need to tweak on do you get 100%. me 100 but like so. it's one of those ones where it's like i i think i think um yeah like we we look at it and we just think like okay there's things that we're going to do differently but we also still appreciate that they've yeah, you know yeah, they've if you here. think about it yeah because i was thinking about it the other day the whole thing i said to you lot about music about like oh like going to america and like trying there our parents came here not really speaking english like at young like ages yeah. yeah and they with what they had yeah and they were like fuck it we're just gonna try and make and this done work. Thing. and yeah, they done their yeah. thing and our generation ain't that fearless yeah it's yeah. A, that's, that, that's that. a different it's kind of lifestyle like so yeah would you go out there and do your thing with music mm, like? in pakistan you could blow you could blow if you were in pakistan I, yeah, I see you go there, and Pakistan. when you blow, yeah, I'm getting ten percent. So what? come on, yeah. don't yeah. deal. Yeah. Ever go back to your home countries? My and parents won't let me. I went. But... I went. I think was it two months ago? No, a month ago. A month ago. I just went and I just came back, and it was really nice. It was different because I haven't been there in like eight years or so. Yeah. And I feel like you come back to it thinking it's like a third world country. It's this, it's that. You yeah. go back, you're thinking this place is like yeah, yeah, yeah. proper, like established, like it's it's sick. You got they got the nightlife, they got all this stuff. Like it was proper. It's good. Just because like, you don't see it as much. Yeah. 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 And the way it's depicted in the media is so different because it's like you look at it and you think, oh you know bare Muslims and they're all you know yeah. like they, like they yeah. probably no <laughs> like, I don't know why this I was no, she comes from Muslim can I just say My she comes from a Muslim family before yeah. anyone attacks her yeah, yeah, she <laughs> comes from a Muslim her ancestors are Muslim yeah, let's get that one clear yeah. she was yeah, wearing a hijab in Iran yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was wearing a hijab <laughs> She is like not my being... country's Islamic. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of people there who aren't Muslim and like are forced to become Muslim and have to wear hijabs and all yeah, this stuff. So yeah. it's very different there. But um, no, it's a really beautiful country and it's not like this third world country that it's like seen to be. So it's kind of like, oh mm. wow, like, I respect it. But gender wise, I cannot live there. Like yeah. Yeah. the way like we have to wear hijabs, we have to do this. Like I went to one place. It's too and, much, man. I went to this one place and literally like it was like like teachers like head teachers saying like, oh like, why is your skirt so long like why is your mm-hmm. hair showing here why is I'm thinking so, yeah. if your ankles are right. show you it's, it's like yeah like you yeah. just yeah. feel so there's really like bad. a hijab Man prison if your ankles there's are like a jail. Yeah. 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 Okay, not no, that no, but like you're right no listen to this though there's a jail tell him about that yeah like if you're jail holding if you're wearing your hijab wrong or in a certain way it's like you lot have to get sent away and you have to like kind of like pay a fine pay a fine pay something and you'll you know you can even be prisoned for a bit like in the little jails just because you're wearing it wrong or whatever yeah but you gotta remember yeah and we always bring it back to this. It comes from invasion of um, yeah. of Iran. Before, it, it, 50, 60 years ago, whenever um, Iran was invaded, I don't know the dates, um, it was very modest, very, not very modest. Like, you, you could wear whatever you want, basically. Yeah. When, when you know, international um, countries like the UK and America started to invade and, you know, fuck shit up, then the retaliation mm. from these terrorist groups was to enforce some sort of control over people. Mm. And that's why you have to be covered up now. Yeah. Before, you look at if you look at pictures of Iran in the 60s, 50s, these women look like they're in New York. Like, it, yeah, my mum's like neighbours were like Scottish, Irish, everything. Yeah. Like, it's it's insane. Yeah. Like, but you obviously don't learn these things because yeah. our history yeah. is whitewashed. It is. <laughs> it really is. There's so much politics into it. Like, it's so long to get into, but in a nutshell, gender-wise, yeah. can't do it. No yeah. way. Never. 
Yeah. yeah, and you know what? I, I just respect the fact that even though there's racism here, it's so multicultural. Yeah. Like yeah. you will yeah. never feel uncomfortable being here. Like I was talking to my boyfriend because I really wanted to go to Turkey with him, right? And boyfriend. at first I was like, Why don't we go? Like, come boyfriend. on, let's go. I got a boyfriend. I got a boyfriend. I want y'all to know. Yeah, and everyone know, like, like, don't get up in my DMs. I got a man. <laughs> but basically, I really wanted him to go to Turkey, right? And he. Kai, your boyfriend. You can go to Turkey. She said, you're your boyfriend. <laughs> I'm going to go nuts. But um, yeah, I really wanted to go. And he just wasn't on it. And I didn't really understand why I'm thinking, bro, like, let's go to Turkey. But the fact was that because he's black, like he feels uncomfortable being yeah. in those countries. I, I feel like that sometimes every, when I go to Turkey. Yeah, because everyone Even I've actually been to Turkey, though. Oh, have you? Yeah. Um, yeah so. When I went, it was blessed. It was calm. Comfortable, then you'd have to obviously have to respect that. And yeah, no, exactly. So I'm kind of like, oh, shit, yeah, fuck that then. Turkey's on the map then. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. not, not I don't deal culture. with those kind of stuff. Yeah, like, I don't have yeah. to think about where I'm going because, cool, I'm Asian, but I won't look, be looked at in a different way yeah. where I'm thinking, oh, like these are staring at me. Sure. Like Same way, like, I really want to take him to China. I'm thinking, bro, yeah, he would hate that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I can't do that. And you can't I want to go there, though. No, no, no. I can't just go there. It's not good for guys, Canada. One of my friends went to China and they was like, Will Smith, Will Smith. Like, he doesn't even look like Will Smith. They all went up to him, touching listen, his hair, listen, taking pictures listen, with him. Listen, it's so mad you're saying this. I went to Thailand one time, yeah? They got you Years awesome. back, yeah? These lot treated me like I was a celebrity. No, I went to Thailand and Dubai on the same holiday. We I was at a supermarket, yeah? I was with my mum. She's white. Yeah. Um, we're just, I'm putting the stuff on the conveyor thing, yeah? Like, mm. obviously doing my thing, hoping her and that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that. Putting the sweets in the crisps, Good obviously. Boy, Daria. Get my <laughs> snacks and that, yeah? <laughs> then the lady's like, she's like pointing at us and she's like, her English isn't the best or whatever. She's like, oh, is is that your she said to me is that your girlfriend oh I, was like, I was like oh my when she said that I was like just going the wrong way completely I was like, I was like <laughs> yeah but your mum is no, yeah. no, but no, yeah, this is, no but regardless of that this is that where it gets worse minute. this is I where it gets worse mom, I, I was like I milk. got a bit offended about yeah, that yeah I love that obviously she does look young and fair play she's good jeans or good whatever yeah. she looks yeah. after herself innit shout out mum yeah but anyway yeah like she was like to me after um I was like no that's my mum she's like how how and I got a bit hurt by that I was a bit like what do you mean how oh, like are you not educated like yeah. i was just you know i'm a bit fiery sometimes yeah, and cool. i was yeah. I was, I was like bro what's up with you lot and my mom yeah. was like oh no just leave it just leave it i went to texas yeah and i thought before i went ev- all of these are like you're gonna get shot like, these <laughs> are the, yeah. they don't do muslims up there but obviously because i don't like when you look at me you don't because i don't wear hijab there's not like yeah, oh she's a muslim. muslim yeah but like the only issue I had is everyone thought I was Mexican. So everyone, the, all these weird people would start speaking Spanish to me. Mm. They'd be like, I'd be like, uh, no, I'd be like, I don't. And that I'd be like, always I'd be like, happens. I'd be like, no, I bless Espanol. I'll say that. I yeah. can't speak Spanish. They'd be like, uh, Espanol. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, I can't. <laughs> I, I just know how to say this that line. So like, funny. I don't know. And I had one person come up to me. They were just like, they're just like, you speak Spanish? You speak Spanish? Like, it happened to me like so constantly. And I was like, blood, like, I know a line or two. I was like, yeah. I was like, I was like even that, like, that took a bit of effort. I prefer like speaking French. That's, I'm a bit better at French so I was there like what's going on but we are I will say like in comparison to um like once I speak to one of my American friends and they were just like you don't have it so like mm, easy yeah, yeah. Us. the we jails in America yeah, we don't like he said it. even the jails in America I was just talking to a bunch of guys some had been jail here some had been jail there they were just going back and forth and I was listening and I was like wow like yeah. this is crazy because yeah. I'm a civilian so yeah. I'm looking at like this is crazy I have to let them know um just in case someone tries to you know yeah, <laughs> yeah. um but yeah, I was just looking and he was just like, they treat you like animals in American prisons. Yeah. And here, you get TV sometimes, you get, depending yeah, on what, what section there, you're, what ta- how I you're in prison. I saw some video the other day, yeah. This guy was on like a live stream or something. And this guy was like showing us how, how he cooks in there. He's got a kettle yeah. and he was cooking up some stir fry. Oh, it's goodness. like what we heard earlier, bro. He cooked up a <laughs> mad thing in a kettle. Yeah, he was Damn. doing madness. I was thinking, you, you got TV, it good in there. You, that. you don't get that in America. In know. America, it's got it's like radio and everything. Yeah. They got prison radio. They yeah. treat, you could get PlayStation in there, bro. Yeah. Xbox. Like people hit people in America. They say they literally treat you like dogs, like animals. Yeah. They treat, like, especially bear in mind if you're like a black man or a coloured man mm. and you're in a white facility, like a facility mm. with white guards. True. You're pissed. Do you know what I mean? So we are. It's not. You know, we're not at the finish line, but we, we are. More, we have to like give yeah. you know credit where it's due. Like we yeah. have it a bit easier. London is multicultural. It's way easier than America, man. The stuff I saw in America was so oh, yeah, different. How there, it seems well. it? Like, cause I was in a little like kind of like um, city in between Philadelphia and New Jersey. Mm. And you could feel the racism there. Like I had a friend and she would just, she was ranting to me about how bad she had it here. Like the little, the thing she would say, yeah, like don't get twisted here. It's not good either. It's bad. Mm. But there it's even worse. Cause it's it's like, yeah, like it's just different. And it just makes you kind of deep and you just think, oh, like I've actually got it easy. Like I don't have to go through these things. Get me. We've discussed a lot, guys. Yeah, we covered yeah. a lot. It was a, it was a great chat. Um, <laughs> we're gonna wrap up, but yeah, guys, thank you, thank you thank so much you for coming. Thank you for having us. Um, big love right now. Shout out to Lufa.
doing this thing. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. He's taken, by the way, so <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> Umra, Umra, are you taken? Um, um, <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Umra's not looking. She's just Umra's saying not... that because, like, <laughs> Umra's not looking. She's nah, just not... saying that, man. Nah, she's just looking, saying but that. Thank, just... But you know what I mean? She's just saying that, bro. I'm just, Malika? <laughs> Malika's <laughs> been grabbed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Malika <laughs> is taken. No, I'm oh, just not oh. looking, but yeah, I yeah. appreciate that. You can still look at my Instagram. Yeah, just follow Umra, then I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys. So they'll um, follow you, but you won't follow them back. Yeah, no, of course not. No, I always follow people back. Come on. Not everyone. People that I meet. It's true, mutuals. Like mutuals. Yeah, like, as in the same. I don't. If they're not bringing nothing to the table, no, like then as in like if I'm following you, but if you're no, not, no, got no, no, like, no, like if I've sat that no, but you got to remember, people always come for me. They're always like, oh, you think you're this, oh, you think, oh, yeah, you yeah, think yeah. you're yeah. all the time. They're like, yeah. you think oh, you're prestige, oh, not following back. This person follows you. Oh, you think I'm just thinking. Oh, you think you're back because Drake follows you? Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. This is where we wrap up. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming. Um, see you guys soon. See you guys soon. Love, 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 love.